Welcome back to the channel make it make sense We've got another banger for you all to comp contemplate on to try to see if we can have some type of resolution or it's just gonna still stay hell uh we can't make it make sense because there's no there's no groundwork there's no foundation there's nothing kanye west is trying to ask a white actor to play him in his biopic <laughs> I'm like, first we had Michael Jackson not wanting to be black, and he had to lighten himself up because he said he was, uh, fell ill to the vert. What do you call that? Vitiligo, or something like that. It's when your skin actually starts looking white. Your pigmentation of your skin is is rubbing off and becoming like white. And um, I'm sure it was just a little bit of, uh, what do you call it? It was just a little bit of unnerving with seeing that take place. And this probably was a small little set that it was, you know, showing up and showing out on, on the skin. But, you know, he that was his getaway card to go on and transform himself into looking like white, like Casper the Ghost. Not how some uh, or most uh, Caucasian people look. Because he looked kind of pinkish. And that's probably through the uh, blood flow going through their body. Because they absolutely would look white. Not white as paper, but it tannish, uh, grayish white, beige. I think I'm getting that. But anyway, Kanye West decided to ask this young man to play him in his biopic. Now, the reasoning would be behind it. He would have to be black faced. Everybody know what black faced is. If you don't, just look it up, okay? And don't get shocked. Don't don't fall out your chill, uh, because this is just some things. Kanye just let us go through. Okay, we have to look through. We have to look at his life through his eyes, not ours, not our perceptions or perspectives, because we would get it wrong all the time. Because he thinks he's a genius and he's over everybody's comprehension of his works. Okay, and right now I'm about to say, I I, I don't have nothing to say <laughs> because I'm like, good God. Have Kim destroyed your mentality that bad that you felt that you needed to go hire a white guy to play you? If you don't get the hell out of him, Kanye. But anyway, we got this article from Tone Def. Uh, and it was, uh, the writer of this article was called Russ Cuts, for, Cuts Forth. Okay, he titled his article, Danny McBride playing Kanye West in biopic. Ye wants it to happen. All right, in a recent roundtable interview, Danny McBride revealed that Kanye West once asked McBride to play him in a potential biop. Danny McBride recently opened up about one of the most bizarre interactions he's had in a career, had in his career. The Righteous Gemstones actor talked about how he went out on a boat in South Carolina with Kanye West for the day and how West then opened up to him about an idea for a biopic in which McBride would play West. I'm pretty sure if he was drunk or had a few too many uh, beers going out on the lake and, you know, letting Kanye see how he get down in the ocean or whatnot, or their little baby lake that they had, he probably fell out. He probably fell out the seat of the boat. Okay. He probably fell out in the water and said, what did you just ask me? Maybe I'm hearing things because I can't believe you would want me to go blackface and play you. you. You do recognize that we are from two different cultures. We look totally different from each other. And then it would just be too much makeup to put on my white ass to play your black ass. That's what, you know, I'm pretty sure that's what the conversation would go on like. Okay. After Kanye got him back in the boat. After being shocked and scared to even phantom the ideal of him playing the role of Kanye. 
Um, going back to the article, it says, this isn't the first time the story has come up. As McBride talked about the same occasion back in 2019 on the Jimmy Kimmel Live show. At the end of the nearly hour-long discussion with the comedians, host Lacey Rose's final question to the group was simple. Out of anyone in the industry, who do you most want to have call you to work with them? The answer started out rel rel eh, relatively mild until the end. Michael Chi referred or referenced many of those dreams collabs coming true on Saturday Night Live. Jared Carmichael said he loved to play business mongoo David Jeffin so he could get onto Jeffin's massive yacht. But after a lull in laughter, my bride shocked the table. One time I did get a phone call from Kanye West and this, this is real. He came to my home in South Carolina and wanted me to play him in a movie said McBride. Everyone else at the table stared at McBride in disbelief and confusion, which they should have. Some of them should have felt like they chill on the floor. But anyway, going back to the article, it said an array of questions came in. Bo and Yang piped up, you to play him? Yes, it, that, that's disturbing, isn't it? Uh, Mr. Yang. <laughs> Yay! McBride continued, Kanye flew down to South Carolina. And told him out in a boat for the day. And he said that he wanted me to do a movie of his life. And he wanted me to play him. Yang queried in a Todd Haynes. I'm not there Bob Dylan way. Like Kate Blanchett. I'm not there in Haynes 2007 experimental biopic about Dylan's uh, life. Where Blanchett, Christian Bale, Richard Gere, Health. Heath Ledger, Ben Wilshaw, and Marcus Call, frankly, take turns playing the songwriter. McBride escaped the question and simply said it was one of the most incredible days ever. It was pretty awesome. Lacey Rose circled back to the topic afterward and asked, What are, what are the follow-up follow questions that you then load to Kanye? But Carmichael cut in, referencing the ideal of a topic thunder situation, as in McBride was essentially performing blackface if played Kanye as Robert Downey Jr. did in the 2008 film. Not necessarily depending on how Ye would want McBride to be portrayed in the potential documentary. Now, what do you say, fam, <laughs> about Kanye wanting this white man to play him in his biopic, meaning his biography put out on tape or visual video form. Has he lost his mind? But then again, we know who he supported in the race. Okay? That's the man that looked orange in the red hat. <laughs> Trying to say we finna make America great again. All right? Yes, honey. Like I said, I don't know what possessed Kanye to do such a thing, say such a thing. But when you're talking about um, Kanye, you're going to have an array of opinions and speculations and the windows go on. Because he likes to just mess with your mind, pretty much. And even though they say allegedly that he's bipolar or whatever... Some of his antics are just like, he just want to do something just for the effect. Just to see how people would respond. Okay? And how long they would talk about him and drag him through the social media streets for wanting to do something like that. But that's all I had for this video, guys. Y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Just chime in. Make sure you share, subscribe, like, and comment my videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.